All right. So now we have our two, uh, the two legs, let's call them, and the central pin, um, and we need to sort it out so that we can make it look like that. All right. And this is where our handy dandy jig comes in. Okay. So at this point, uh, we set them up and they're just still slightly too long and if we put the pin in place clearly that doesn't quite work. So from here what we want to do is we want to be able to cut both of these legs in the, uh, in the correct place so that we can line it up with our central pin. Uh, a simple way of doing that is to put a mark on this side here um, and that gives, that gives us our parallel line but if we just cut it there, it's going to have some great big gaps while we weld it. So what we want to do is we want to measure in uh, one third of the diameter in from the edge and then cut it at that point. Um, this is 20 mil, uh, 21 mil stuff, one third of 21 is 7 mil. So we just measure in 7 millimeters from that point, draw that parallel line and we're going to cut it, cut it off at that second line there and we can notch it from that point there. And we just make sure that we do that on both of them at the same point. When we're cutting this, it pays to make sure that this surface here is nice and horizontal. When we're cutting it, the, our, the saw that we're cutting is straight up and down vertical. Okay, so now what we need to be able to do is we have this piece of steel and we need to be able to fix it onto this piece of steel. However, the problem is that we have a circle being fixed on with what is now a straight cut. Okay, or something like that. All right, so, um, so at the moment it's flat and we need to join it onto a circle and we could just weld it and we could just do lots of welding and it would look ugly. Or we could notch the steel, which means that we get the steel and we cut a circle out of another circle um, and it will be curved that way and it will be curved that way and it looks all very complex But what it does is it fits there nice and tightly and beautifully like So you get the idea all right, there's a number of different ways of doing this uh, If you look it up on YouTube, you'll find a whole bunch of them um, And there are expensive notching machines or, and there are also cheap notching machines But they take lots of time to set up but what we're going to do is the method that I was taught which is by using a sharpie and a roller and a hacksaw. Okay, so let's get into that. Okay, uh, so let's start with marking it out. Now, this might seem a bit complicated, but it's actually very simple. What we need to start with is we just need two measurements. So basically, it's that far point there and this close point here. So that far point there and this close point here. Now, the simple way of working that out is the rule of thirds if you're joining one steel onto the same steel of the same diameter. So we know that this line here meets up here and the line that we measured back is one third of the diameter and that's all you basically need. At that point, uh, you, just, you just work out your quadrants. So effectively, that is just the four, the four corners of the piece of work. and we also have our line here. So all we have to do from that point now is we try and draw a straight line um, from the top, the point where it's going to be making contact on the curve, we draw a straight line from this section there to there, okay? So uh, it's drawing a straight line on a curve and it is a little bit messy, but actually um, it'll be fine. Okay, and it'll end up looking something like that. 
All right, and that's all you need to do um, in terms of marking it out. So you do that on one side, you do that on the other side, and then you can go away and you can cut it. Okay, so again with cutting this, you just want to make sure that this here is nice and flat, and that when you're cutting, you're cutting straight up and down. And all we're doing is we're going to be cutting this line here um, straight from the top all the way down along that line. Okay, so uh, you can do that with a hacksaw, you can do that with a grinder if you feel like that's okay for you. you just cut it straight through. Okay, so I've cut myself my straight lines there, so we have the two straight lines. Uh, I've just cut that one there along the edge there, and I've cut the other one here down here. And all the cool thing about cutting two straight lines is on a circle is that it creates a circle that goes straight through like that. So, um, we have a rough circle, and what we need to do to make it from going like that and looking a bit ugly to looking slightly less ugly like that is uh, basically using a nice half rounded file there with a half round on one side of it. So that's where we go and we put it in our vise and we just go to town on it with the file. Um, a few minutes of that and it should fit nice and beautifully like that. Okay, these here are all now ready to move. You can tell that they're ready to weld because it's all locked in place and this can still move up and down and there's a nice, uh, there's a nice join there. All right. all right, so from this point you can take it away and we can go and take the whole thing, including this jig, into the welding bay um, and spot weld it, or sorry, tack weld it on a few places on the side. Take it out, turn it around, put it back on the other side, tack weld it a few times and then when it's tech welded on both sides, then we can take it out, put the jig to the side, and then weld the whole lot of it. 